you know, I never expect that I will become a pastry chef or executive pastry chef. This is not my dream when I was a little child. This is not my dream. Before, I'm dreaming to be a nurse someday. That's why I finished a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. And I also finished Certificate in Professional for Teacher's Education, major in Biological Sciences. And many people is wondering how I become a chef. I tell you a short story about, about me. Before, way back 2004, I was already here in UAE. I was working in Dubai, but during that time, I don't have any skills about baking. Nothing at all. I'm working before as a receptionist secretary in the beauty and skin care clinic. But I only worked for almost one year and a half. After that, I go back to my country, year 2006. During that time, I opened a business. I became a wholesaler of like a grocery store, wholesaler in the marketplace in our town. My grocery store is already one year. But the time, you know, one big supermarket arise opposite of my grocery store. The time, the competitor is very big. That's why I'm thinking to ship in another business. I sold out all my grocery items in very lower price and then I ship to another business and it was the party need shop for the catering services. During that time, my party need shop is very successful. You know, too much orders because I was offering invitations from invitations, souvenirs, cakes, clowns and mascots for wedding, birthdays, and any kind of occasion and also a catering services, chairs and tables rental, um, utensils for rent as well, and I'm doing also a balloon decoration, and anything about party. So if you are successful in that business, and somebody saw you, there is another competitor came, and more coming. You know, when my business has become successful, after that, you know, some problem coming to me. And you know, it is heart problem. When you are broken hearted, your mind is coming different, right? I want to forget everything, so that time, I make myself busy. I went to the gym. And when I went to the gym, I meet one friend. And he told, she told me, uh, I enrolled in culinary arts. This is the start. And then when she told me this one, I asked her, where is the school? That's why I went to the university and I inquired about it. But when I went to the university, first I asked, do you have any courses offered? for culinary arts and they told me yes what do you want culinary arts or baking and pastry arts during that time I said mm, I will go for baking and pastry arts than culinary arts after when I went I enrolled already that time but after that when I was in at home I was thinking why I did not enroll both so that I know already both I get and I learn something new in culinary and in baking and pastry arts. So in the next day I'll go back again to the school. 
but you know the timings and the shift of the classes is very late the classes starts from 5 p.m. up to 11 8, 11 p.m. in the evening which is very difficult for me because I was working in my shop from 8 o'clock in the morning up to 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. but during and then I continue going to the classes 4 p.m. I leave my shop to my stops and then I went I went to the school the travel I travel one hour away from my home and then sometimes uh, I'm going very late sometimes it's finish finish uh, like 11 30 12 a.m. in the morning and I I reach my home almost one o'clock this is my life before but I continue because I want to get something new knowledge and skills because during that time you know I have too much orders for cakes because I, I have a part in each shop I give it always a package deal for a kids party for a wedding party must be have a cake in this package that's why you know it really helps you know it relieves my heart heartache and it gives me more knowledge and happiness that's why this is the start how I learn how I knew about baking and pastry arts I cannot believe that the first time I tried baking I'm only looking in a recipe book when I'm not yet enrolled in the school but you know the one who tastes my first cake is the nanny the nanny of my younger daughter and her sister I never forget this moment she also never forget this moment she always remind remind me about this you know when I tell her come try my cake you know what she did she eat my cake and spit out from her mouth into the plate but the sister her sister you know what she did she keep trying to finish to finish the cake inside her mouth because she afraid that maybe I angry if he did not she did not eat this one really I never forget this moment when I went home or going home to the going back to my country she always reminds me this one when I saw her and we are laughing too much you know and then after I graduated the major in culinary arts and major in baking I was graduated and after that I continue enrolling to the short courses in cookery and then until I become a bread and pastry production NC2 trainer it is it is about the testa they are giving scholarship before so and then I also go for the trainers methodology course and I also pass this one I'm a trainer already and but an assessor but I did not pursue it until now because I already came here in Dubai I also became a college instructor and you know a full-time college instructor in one college private college in Nueva Ecija you know during that time I also have my business this is the very difficult time for me you know why because I if I have a party or I have a catering I have too much work or too much cakes to bake I don't know how I divide myself this is my problem before you know I work I'm teaching I'll go to school from 8 o'clock in the morning I'll be there until 6 o'clock in the evening and then when I go home my staff report report give me a report that this is the sales like this 
and this is our orders for tomorrow this is the cakes this is the invitation like this you know i become crazy you know i went to my computer just eat the dinner i sit down with my laptop and computer to make the invitation the day out day out of tarpaulin and then printing you know it's very difficult and then after there is order four cakes five cakes and i'm alone also baking nobody knows i don't have helper before in doing a cake when i was started i'm very hands-on you know i'm very hands-on businesswoman i i have stops but i also work like my stop work i'm printing balloons i put air inside the balloons I'll do catering, delivery, delivery of the cakes, delivery of the chairs and tables. You know, one time, I remember, I never forget. I deliver chairs and tables. I was driving the jeep with the uh, trailer at the back. You know, when I reached the home of the one who rent the tables and chairs, she told me, what is this? You're the owner. And you are the one who delivering these chairs and tables. She told me like this. And, you, and I told her, what to do? <laughs> Nobody will do this one. Only me. Because that time we are busy. Some of the stuff and the catering. We have party like this. You know, nobody can do it for me. So after that, you know, how I came here again, back to Dubai. I was a chef already before, and my sister is working here in Dubai um, more many years ago. When I was here 2004, 2006, she came here in Dubai. And then, when I was in starting teaching as a full-time instructor and I at the same time I, mean, I have my business I make a joke to her I said can you send my CV to the in Dubai online just try I want to see if somebody will hire me and you know I never expect I received one email and this is one lady she told me I'm a local lady here in UAE and I need a chef, a pastry chef, who will help me to build my own company, to build my own pastry shop or coffee shop. At first, I did not believe. I did not believe at first because nowadays too much scams in the emails like this. And, I, and I'm thinking before, you know, if she's asking money for me, I will... Uh, I will not accept because I know it was a scam but after she gave me offer letter and when I saw the offer letter you know it's very good offer very good salary as well you know that's why I accept the offer I was thinking too much how will I go I have my business and then I'm also teaching as a full-time instructor so it's very hard for me to decide, you know. I decide to came here because I want to pursue my career as a chef, as a real chef, you know. That's why I was here right now. You know, this local lady, she spent all uh, expenses for my travel uh, my visa expenses and my my flight expenses my ticket and all everything his shoulder everything about the expenses and then you know she booked me in the Emirates Airlines and I was so happy because that time Emirates Airlines is a um, very uh, good airlines 
I never forget my madam, the one who take me here. And you know, his business that her business that time is growing. We are distributing already to eight coffee shop of our of our big products, and and then she opened her own restaurant, of, of course. And but suddenly, uh, when she changed the concept of the business, so that the time she told me, I will let you go now, then. Because I know you are deserved more than this salary, she told me. And you know, you want, I know you want to learn something more than this. Because she knows me. I always join in competition. I always want to learn new something. Going to the seminar, going to the training. I always doing like this before. But she is very good, very nice lady. That's why I never forget her in my life. Because of her, I'm here right now. Because she helped me a lot during that time. So that is my story. How I become a chef. And now, I'm working in research and development. And I have a lot of projects will come very soon and I hope it will be continuously growing. I always love what I'm doing as a chef because when I saw people, they are happy eating my food, eating my cakes and pastries. It's very overwhelming feeling that I cannot explain. You know, you cannot explain the feeling. So this is my final, my final career as a chef, as a businesswoman. That's it. And a mother of my kids. You know, there is a one thing that I realize in my life. When somebody, somebody hurt you, or if the people hurt you, if you are in pain, you must be make yourself more stronger to stand back to stand back again to face the reality and make yourself different from before this is what I did you know when I want to get something I keep holding on it until I never get it it is me this is me I hope now you know now already my story how I become a chef you know I always believe in destiny if it is for you it coming for you what I want you to know in your life you must be strong never ever give up in anything, in any problem, in any challenges came into your life, unless make these challenges as your motivation. So, this is my story, how I become a chef right now.